Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you a mixed media box frame using the pink ink stamps and this one is going to be the Acorn Fairy. So the Acorn Fairy stamp is one of the three new stamp designs from Pink Ink. The other one is the Giraffe. And the third one is the Mermaid. So here I'm just trying to figure out which ink is going to be the best ink to use with my pixie powders. So I would want to stamp the image first and then use the pixie powder over the top. Now the archival ink and the Versafine ink are both meant to be waterproof. Um, but the archival ink is far the better one to use if you're going to use some water over the top. So I'm now going to be using a box frame which I picked up from Wilco and this is the 8x8 one. I am now going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp the rest of the fairy onto my stamping card. So I'm using the Memento because I'm going to be using alcohol markers to do her skin and this is the best ink to use for that. I'm also using the Tim Holtz stamp board which is really good for large stamps because if you don't get it perfect the first time you can have another go. So here I've just stamped the image again with the leftover ink on a scrap piece of paper so that I can position my stamping card onto the board and use the archival ink, there you go, jet black, just for the wings. So here I'm using my Memento ink again just to stamp out the snail and the butterfly. And now I'm just using the Memento ink again with the star stamp that comes with the set and I'm just adding some stars around the outside edge of my fairy. So next I am going to use my Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder, this one is the Teal Wash and I'm using the stamped images of the fairy wings which we use the archival ink to stamp and I'm just doing a wash over the fairy rings and I'm going to leave this to dry naturally. I am now using my Derwent Colour Soft Pencils to colour in my fairy. I'm just using a light blue around the outside edge of the fairy and here I'm going to use my Sestit with my paper stump just to blend out the colour so that it is faded and it looks like a shadow. I am now using my Skin Tone Graft Master Pen. This is an alcohol based pen and this is number 26. I'm going to use this for her skin.
And now I'm going back to my Colour Soft pencils. I will just show you a little bit and then skip through some of it so it doesn't get too boring for you. So now that my fairy wings are all dried, I've cut them out and I'm just using my bone folder to give it a bit of shape. And I'm now using some sticks to foam pads because I want the wings to be slightly raised. And I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick this down to my base fairy. I'm now going to use my diamond stickles to add a bit of glitter to my fairy wings. So now that my stickles have all dried out, I'm just placing the image into the box frame and I'm going to now use my stays on jet black ink, which I'm going to stamp the butterfly image onto the side of my box frame. I just want it partially on. Now here I've made a mistake, so I quickly get my stays on cleaner which takes off the stays on ink and I just dry that off and start again. No real damage done there, thank goodness. And here I'm just going to stamp the image again onto the side of the box. Once the ink has all dried, I'm now going to use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the butterfly that I did earlier onto the box. Now I've used a little bit too much glue so it starts coming out over the edges which is a bit of a pain but I can just wipe that off with my tool there and just let that dry naturally. So I think I'm all finished but as I'm looking at it I feel that there's quite a big gap down the bottom so I'm just going to use my memento ink again and stamp some more stars and then colour them in and add the picture to my box frame. And that is this project all finished. If you would like to buy any of the products I've used in this video they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below or click on the end cards at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired. Mm -hmm.